Functions. This is a G uh, further mass GCSE question, uh, which is a level two qualification. Now, functions do tend to cause people problems the first time they start working with them. Um, sometimes you can just think of the function of x as being y equals, if I wanted to find um, an equation or something. Um, in this case, um, we're told to find uh, solve f of x squared equals 43. So normally when we do a function, if, we, if I was asked to do um, f of 2, then I would just do 3 times 2 minus 5, which is going to be 1 because we've got 6 take away 5 because I'm just replacing the x with the 2. But with f of x squared, I'm just replacing that x with an x squared. So I've got 3 um, times x squared minus 5. And now here we're told it equals 43. So that's an equation where it's equal to 43. So essentially we've just got this fairly straightforward quadratic equation we've got to solve where we can just add the 5 to get 48. Divide by the 3 Oops, I missed the square on there. Divide by the 3 to get 16, and therefore x equals the square root of 16, which is equal to 4 or minus 4, or 4 and minus 4, I suppose. So that's a four mark question. Um, you get, you certainly get one mark for um, getting something like this, where you put the x squared in for the x, and then getting the equation and then making the first step like adding the 5 um, and then one another mark for getting 2x squared equals 16 and one mark for getting the two answers. Okay so now we're going to section B. So we've got a sketch of y equals g of x, this, this graph here, um, for between 0 and 8 and the graph is symmetrical about 4 so it's got a bit of symmetry here and we're told the range of g of x goes from 0 to 12. So the range is how far up the y-axis it goes. So the highest point it goes, which is the top of this graph, is 12. So we know it goes between 0 and 12 and nowhere else. That tells us it's 12. So we've got two parts of the equation. We've got the bit where it's um, between 0 and 4 and then a bit between 4 and 8. So if we think about this section here, it's going across 4 and up 12. So the gradient so for every one across, we're going up 3. So the gradient is 3. So what we're doing there is we're doing 3 times x. So it's 3x. And uh, there is no uh, y-intercept because it's starting from 0. So it's just 3x. Now, the second part, coming down, um, because it's symmetrical, it must have the opposite gradient because it's clearly going down 12. And across 4, so it's going to be minus 3x, and then we've got to figure out what the y-intercept would be. If we took it back up to the top here, um, we know this is 12 here, and it's symmetrical, so the the top of the graph is going to be at 24, so we're going to be at plus 24, and that should be um, 5 marks indeed. Okay, so there's, there's uh, going to be one mark for each of the gradients. So if you've got a 3 and the minus 3, there's one mark for each of those. There's one mark for this 3x, and then there's going to be one mark, method mark for doing some working to get towards this, although I did it just by the symmetry. You could think about the equation of that line being y equals minus 3x, because we know the gradient, plus some number that we don't know, and then picking one of the coordinates on the line that we do know, like... 80 or 412. If we use the 80, so y is 0 when x equals 8. So we know that minus 24 plus c equals 0, which tells us that c equals 24, and therefore minus 3x plus 24 being the equation of the line. Um, so some sort of method there, um, but if you get the answer straight out, you will get the, the method and the answer marks because you must have done some method to get to the answer. Okay, so quite a lot of marks for that question, um, nine in total, um, and quite tricky to get your head around, but the actual numerical work there is not that difficult when you break it down.